Hey, this is Chris. I know it's late in the week. Uh, Lee's a little bit under the weather. Please, please, please pray for her if you get a chance. You think about it. Uh, it's not anything too serious. Uh, her, she has a cough. It's, it sounds awful, uh, but. Uh, we have been hitting it hard with the medication, keeping her, well, not drugged up, but I mean, keeping the, keeping the ibuprofen flowing, uh, keep, keep taking antibiotics just in case. Uh, I realize antibiotics don't work against viral infections, but uh, if, they're, if it does, you know, it's in her chest, we certainly don't want any other kind of infection starting. And so this is more a preventative thing. And uh, plenty of water. Got some chicken soup yesterday. That always helps. At least it makes you feel better, you know, to have some good chicken. There's nothing like chicken soup when you're sick. It's really good. I had some too, and I'm not sick. Which I'm really amazed at because I've been around her for the last two weeks, and this is like the second time she's been sick in two weeks. She had a cold before, and somehow I dodged a bullet on Anyway, the point of video today then is environmentalist wacko pick for the AFC championship game, which is coming up this weekend sometime. I don't even know what day it's on. I'm sure I'll be watching it on my smartphone because I have Verizon. They, I get to watch, you know, they broadcast one or two games a week, and so I'm sure they'll broadcast both of these. I hope, anyway. They did all the games last weekend, which was fun. It's, it's fun to be able to drive around and watch these games. But anyway, let's get to the pick, shall we? The Jacksonville Jaguars, Jaguars, as Austin Powers would say. Well, he says Jaguar. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but anyway, what is a Jaguar? It's a cat. It's a big cat. It's an apex predator living in an environment where it is, I think pretty much, I can't remember where Jaguars live. I'm, I'm thinking South America. Because I don't think the jaguars and, and say um, tigers and lions and cheetahs all live in the same ecosystem. I think jaguars have their own. They are the apex predator. I really should look that up, but it's really beside the point. Because being the apex predator, they go out and they kill their food, but they never kill more than they need. They kill only what they need to survive. And once more, they leave the carcasses for the other scavenger animals to feed off of. And so everything from, you know, like vultures to, you know, other small mammals, insects, uh, you know, th those, those animals depend on a jaguar making a kill. And so that's what the jaguar does. And so if, uh, the jaguar perfectly fulfills its role in the ecosystem and does not violate its role. So... All in all, a very envir a pro environmental uh, animal. You don't have to worry about it. Uh, you might have to worry about it if you're out in his territory or her territory uh, messing with their cubs. Uh, then you might have a problem. But you know, I think pretty much you leave a jaguar alone, uh, and it's not going to eat you, and it's not even going to mess with you. It's probably just going to like wait for you to get out so it can get back to hunting. On the other hand, we have the New England Patriots, the Patriots. I don't know. What can we say about the Patriots? They came to America. They settled in New England. The original Indian givers, right? They made friends with the Indians as long as it was, as long as it met their needs, and then they displaced the Indians, and the Indians were pushed further west. That's not good. Uh, and then what did they do? They slowly expanded their influence. They built factories. And those factories built smoke into the sky and polluted the air, polluted the water. It took like 200 years until we got to the Clean Air Act before that was all cleaned up. So I don't think I don't think we can look at the Patriots as being very environmentally conscious. In fact, they're kind of anti-environment. So this week's pick is easy. This game, the pick for this game is easy. It has to be, from the environmentalist Waco point of view, it has to be the Jaguars who are going to win. We're going to call it Jaguars by 15 on a late fourth quarter comeback. But yeah, it sounds good to me. Anyway, if you have any questions or comments, like and subscribe. We appreciate when you do.
Well, if you have any questions or comments, leave some in the section below. I always leave that part out. And then, like and subscribe. We appreciate when you do. And we will see you on the next one.